あわざわざ。I'm chaos, the end of end. A steel was trapped in a cage of ice. Your best friend built it, got your whole and. English. Witness. Me. What about us? We're not at the end. Cori no oni ni hini saishi kuru ga ni no bara. Nanji no tomo horoyen no akusu. Bailey, this. Witness. Me. Hello. Your rat's a little bit sick. But not like, I don't think I'm sick sick. I think I'm just sick. From exhaustion! I'm feeling better than yesterday. My throat is slightly better. I slept a lot. Ah, uh, I'm just sick of it, bro. Hello, everybody! It's been so long since I've streamed. How long has it been? It's been like... A week? Nearly. It's crazy. Oh. Daijoubu. Daijoubu. Nanka jotto tabu ne. Face to expo no. Ma o kage de yu ka. Ne. O tsukare. Tsukare tsugi. Te yu ka. Mm. Chat went a little crazy yesterday. I don't even know what happened yesterday. I woke up and I was like, oh wait, what time did I schedule that stream again? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. a great stream thank you also thank you so i cried when you sang i sung fansa yesterday oh oh shit i'm glad you liked it what are you eating fruit loop <laughs> yesterday was epic oh shit damn oh announced all those what did i announce yesterday <laughs> i don't even know anyway otsu i wanted to stream today because otsu fashion expo i still can't believe it was hollow expo and fifth fest i feel like even though it's over i still can't believe it, it was already fifth fest does that make sense i can't believe that it happened, even though it's already over. Yeah. The oh, man! I hope you guys had fun! It was a blur. It really was. <laughs> it really, really was. Still waiting for the vlog. I am too. Where's the archive? I want to rewatch it. I wasn't able to watch um stage two and stage three because I may have passed out. I may indeed have passed out. Kaze, tio. Kaze is not. Ano, taicho ga wari daki desu. 
今日ここ最近の何日間ってさ、まあフェスもあったしね。ね、週末フェスがあって、だいぶ寝てないっていうか、全然寝てない。2日間で。で、その後、すぐね、オーストラリア、オーストラリア、オーストラリアに戻って、この状況、になってます。うううう That's called a cold. It's not. It's just exhaustion. Did you walk around the convention area? I have so many stories. I don't know where to start. Also, I'm back in the Australia shed, by the way. For those who are unsure, I raced home after, after Fest and Expo. Which is why I was kind of not online at all. Because, you know, I had Fest and Expo for two days and then I had to scramble to pack and race back home. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be a hectic couple of weeks.、Um, I'm not here for too long. I just came back to, to get the rest of my stuff. Um, also, need to do some, some adult things, you know? Cancel my health care. <laughs> cancel, cancel a lot of things before I head back. <clears throat> um, yeah. Taxes? Oh god, yeah. But I don't know where to start. Where do I start? Should we talk? What do we talk about? Expo! Should I buy the Expo first? Man! I don't want to talk about. <laughs> so, is the Expo signing things? Oggy,、okay, I'll talk about signing things. I was gonna get some screenshots, but I was too I was too dead. But, yeah! um, Staff let me go look around the Expo. It was during rehearsal, so I had like a little bit of time. And they were like, Bait, you got this amount of time. Here's a marker. You can sign everything except this part and this part. And I was like, Oh! And then I ran wild. <laughs> did you guys find. Did you guys find the, the secret message? <laughs> I looked at my manager, Mane Chang. I got new Mane Chan lately. Recently. Lately? Recently? Yay! We were, we were、uh, bonding at the expo. And I asked new Mane Chan, and I was like, is it wrong to draw a pee pee? <laughs> and then she was like, <laughs> so I went and drew three. Big ups. Shout out to everyone who found all three. Hmm. Was it four? Oh shit. Did you try any of the food? Yeah, I did!、Uh, I got to try the smoke bento. And then I also tried Goomba's drink. I really liked Goomba's drink. It was really nice.、Um, but because I didn't have that much, that, like, a lot of time in the expo, I actually missed some of the exhibits. <laughs> a lot of members messaged me afterwards, you know, on the days that、um, they were able to go see the expo for those who could go. And they were like, oh, look! Look, I found your merch display! And I was like, what? I didn't see that. And I totally forgot about the artwork that Ina and Fuamoko and I did. I was like, oh shit, I missed that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. How does it feel to see Mika Mama's painting? It was so cool. 
Mika Mama Daisuke. I can't believe Mika Mama has joined the Jidon my soul. Of all things, I did not expect to see Mika Mama tweet. It was that. Ugh. That was the expo. I, had to, I hope everyone had a lot of fun. I want to go back and I want to watch the um, expo uh, streams in my own time when I have time. Sometime. I saw a lot of cosplays. I saw the Bratz meetup picture too. <laughs> Thank you for cropping me in on the side. Thank you very much. I saw those little cosplays. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone bought their brought their big smalls. I saw she looks so troll. Big Small Bay looks so troll. No matter where you put her, she just looks so troll. Why does she look so troll? Chad Brad is a traitor. What do you mean? I saw pictures of Chad Brad. Chad Brad was looking extra Chad. Oh, they interviewed him. He likes you but loves mine. Honestly, I like B too, but I also love mine. Honestly, based. Honestly, based. I agree. I kind of like B too, but damn, mine. <laughs> Honestly, based. Oi, oi, oi. Did you see Tata? I did! She looks so good. I did. I saw the cosplay. People were telling me that she got interviewed as well. I have to see that. I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> and man, thank you so much for the... I, I haven't been able to look at the super chats yet. Thank you for the support. But the Esper looked really fun! It looks so cool! Me has a fun! Me and I have not seen the Master Gar Expo! Yeah? Was it fun? <laughs> that was expo. That was expo. I think it's time to talk about. It's, it's time to talk about. Down my soul. I didn't expect this dance to be so memeable, but I'm glad people enjoy it one way or another. <laughs> okay, shall we start with stage one? Shall we start on stage one? Um, for those who haven't seen it yet, please watch in the archive. I performed. Gales of Song or Utayo from Bell. And um, I tried something. Here's the thing I kind of I was very anxious to see 
uh, how people would receive this performance and it was received exactly the way that I thought it would be received. It's actually kind of funny. There were, you know, I think it was kind of split in half. Some people, well, a lot of people were like, Oh, it was good. It was, it was great. And then the other half was just pure confusion, which I was like, mm, that was the goal. <laughs> capture the moment. Did you guys capture this moment? <clears throat> I want to try something different. I think Fifth Fest, uh, or Fest in general, is probably one of the biggest audiences you can reach out to. Um, so I wanted to do something, I wanted to challenge myself, do something different. Uh, and I did see some comments before of people saying, I wonder how Bay would perform a ballad song. And I was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> um, so this, this song, half of the song is just instrumental, which I was like, ooh! That's perfect for some dance. Yeah! So, even though I'm not a contemporary dancer, I've never done contemporary dance. I've never choreographed interpretive dance. I was like, wow, biggest performance of the year, let's do it! <laughs> so... What made you decide to bring back the butterfly? I started planning... The fifth fest dance while I was still, you know, prepping stuff for birthday. This was like last year, a while ago, and that was like butterfly. But yeah, I hope it was memorable. Yeah, did you make the choreography? Yeah, I did. I know. 今年のフェスのパフォーマンスでさ、まあ、なんていうかね、あの、毎年多分1万大きいパフォーマンスになると思うので、今年はちょっとチャレンジしたかったんですよ。えっと、僕はさ、普段ダンス、ま、K-POP ダンスやりたくてさ実は僕コンテンポラリーダンスやったことないんであと振り付けも作ったことないんで今年初でしたうんやったことないマジでやったことない<笑><笑> やってみて手応えどうだったですかどうでしたかあの多分今までやったダンス一番難しかったと思う自分作ってたのにThis is probably This was the most difficult dance for me to make and practice. This also got nerfed quite a lot because of the, um, what do you call it? Because of the technology. I was figuring out ways, you know, this Jadon, my soul moment, actually was supposed to be an actual complete fall. So I was practicing how to fall. I wanted it, I wanted to like drop because the beat drops here. So actually, instead of on my knees, it was complete. It was supposed to be a complete fall onto the side, on the left side of my leg. So I had a lot of dance practices where I was just falling. Um, to figure out which way. But then I couldn't figure out how to make it look elegant, so I decided just to knee drop. Oh, no, that's not what happened! Actually, yeah, I decided to knee drop, but... To be honest, you know this like thing, I was actually supposed to go all the way down to the floor. You see, I'm on my knees at the moment. My back was actually supposed to make contact with the floor. With the floor. Does that make sense? I was supposed to be I was supposed to I was supposed to be I was supposed to go all the way back. But then but then when we were like practicing and rehearsing, staff was like, mm, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, why? And they're like, 
because you're gonna disappear. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to go all the way back. Um, so we decided just to... This is as far as I could go. <laughs> yeah. But hey, it made a good to don my soul moment. Um, and then... So yeah. There's a lot of... I had to figure out how to safely fall onto the floor. Which is why I had a lot of bruises. Also, the most difficult part of this choreography is actually the beginning. Do you know how long it took... For um, the sensei, we had a I had a sensei during rehearsal because you know there was there was that time where I said I had to show them my core and they were like nope you can't do this nope you can't do this nope you can't do this at the beginning there was actually a floor routine that I wanted to do and they're like nope you can't do that and I was like oh and then the sensei was like oh maybe we can you know switch that with some running and I was like excuse me running do you know how difficult it is to run elegantly. That is what destroyed my thighs. Because it's not just running. It's like you're galloping, but you have to tense your thigh muscles. At the beginning. At the beginning. Ugh. Anyway. But I think the beginning went really well. I also love the stage. It was so cool. The effects in the background. I saw it during rehearsal once. But oh, bruh. I hope it came out as amazing as I think it did. This was to dumb myself. I might do it. Should I do a choreo breakdown? I probably will. Sometime. Um, for the next two weeks, my streaming, streaming, screaming, what streaming schedule is gonna be a little bit um sparse. Because I have to do certain things. But I'll stream whenever I can. I'm gonna do a choreo breakdown for this song. Mm-mm. Maybe after the VODs return, that is true. Once the archives come back, we can do it. Aren't you supposed to be on break? I had my break. From streaming. <laughs> I had my break. From streaming. surprised to see I was so honored when they invited me they were like oh we would like to invite you to do MC I'm like really really I was so excited Hajimete 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 Fesu no MC I did I did MC for the EM live but this is the first time I did it for a fest, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> doki, doki, doki. Doki, doki. I'm so happy I got to do it with Koyo chan. I first did it as a MC, and I was doki doki. 
Can you believe it? I could hear all of you guys. Chanto kikoita yo. Sugogata. Manji de sugogata. What did we even do? I don't remember anymore. Oh, we did the hey, 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 hey. You're keeping your balance? Excuse me. How dare you? I remember when um we were on standby. God damn. One, I was so cold. <laughs> I was so cold. But also it was it was like it was crazy. Oh no. That's why I kept jumping in my MCs. If you if you watch closely, I'm constantly jumping and running because it was so cold. <laughs> oh. How much of the MC did you rehearse? Or was it YOLO? Ah, um, my good question. I think I talked to Koyotan before a little bit, and then we did kind of like structure it out. We were like, oh, we should do this, so that introduction, introduction, and then, and then we do, and then we do this, and then we do that. And then we thought about the hey, 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 hey part. But a lot of the, a lot of, obviously, what we said was on the spot. Oy. Eh? ,500人近く入ったらしいね. Yeah! Close to 15,000. That's insane! Some members said they were given a script. Oh, we were given like a very loose script of, you know, please introduce yourself and then please say something and then finish off with capture the moment. That's kind of the loose script we were given. But the actual content of the MC, we could just do whatever we wanted. Please say name. And then do whatever. But yeah, I hope that you guys have... I was... <laughs> I don't know. It's, it was so crazy hearing that I was like... If you're from overseas, I want to hear you scream! And then you guys all screamed. Man. Oh... <gasps> It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> was it loud there? It was so loud. It was so loud to the point... Like, you know, we, we had like our earpieces in and everything, but it was so loud. I could felt the, I felt the floor. Like it was, it was like reverberating because it was so loud. But yeah, my cereal is gone. I finished my cereal. Anyway, um, it was so cool. I know. I love doing MC. I feel like I always, I've always wanted to do uh, MC and I feel like I, 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 I like hyping up crowds. If that makes sense. So I feel like I I was very happy when they asked me to do MC. <laughs> I was also like I was kind of nervous because you know my first MC was gonna be ma ma majority of it was gonna be in Japanese. So I was like, oh shit, what if I what if I mess up? Which I probably did. I don't remember. It was a blur. Eat, eat. Yes. If you're looking to hire an MC, everybody, I am open for business. Say 
ジから見たペンライトの海見てどんな感じだったすごかった。すごかったよ。Do you do birthday parties? Oh, yes, I do. My rate per hour? Um. You, you call, my, call, call my agent to figure out my rates differ depending on the event. <laughs> Ooh. Five five ninety nine ninety nine. Five five ninety nine ninety nine. Hey. <laughs> anyway, that was the very first MC. Moving on. Cool. Great performance. Do you guys understand why I kept bumping into Ina at the beginning of the year? Do you understand how many rehearsals we had together for so many things? <laughs> we had so many rehearsals that just kept bumping into each other. Yes. Yes. I love this choreo so much. I love this choreo too. It was so much fun. Inya! Inya! This was really fun. I hope you liked it. I... Oh my god. I... I'd never... I didn't think I'd heard of this song before. You know, it was decided that we were gonna sing this song. And then I couldn't stop listening to it. It's so groovy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I remember... Because, you know, we were... Asked what kind of choreography we wanted to the song, and then I don't know what everyone else put, but I was like, hmm, I would like it to be um kind of jazzy, because the song reminds me of like a circus. I want it to be like ga d d d d jazzy, um, girly, but a little bit smexy. <laughs> I, I hope you I hope you liked it. I think they delivered pretty well. <laughs> Never get the oh my god. Sad girl jackpot. Sad It has the words jackpot sad girl Jackpot sad girl. That's the that's the name. Jackpot sad girl. Look, I always forget! Okay. Don't worry about it. I really love this song. It's because the chorus starts with sad girl. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, shit. Maya! It's a very fun song. <laughs> but I had so much fun performing with the ladies. <laughs> Me. <sighs> I've lost my memory. Leave me alone. Okay, my brain no work. My brain no work. Can you sing in karaoke later? Sure. Did you have any input with the choreo? No, not really. They just asked us what kind of choreo we wanted and I sent some references and then I was like, yeah, something like this could be cool. And I rocked up at the rehearsal. And teacher was like, oh, I teach you. And now he's like, okay. The group composition very varied this time. Yeah! Lot of um unexpected groupings. Mm. Oh. 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 How long did the core take to learn? For me? Um, I think the rehearsal... Two hours? Two hours. Me. 
に<laughs> me. I mean, it's kind of it. it the the chorus repeats itself twice, so it's not. It's just not that. It's not that long. <laughs> casual flex for real, for real. Is that casual flexing? I don't know how long. What a long. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Dance. I like to dance. Tee hee. But this was um jackpot sad girl. Ah, I, I just think it fits. It fits the outfits at the dance fit as well. <laughs> How did you keep so many chorus memorized? I'm telling you! My brain went over, like, it was fried at one point. Especially in the middle of February, I had around like 10 dances in my head. Fried. Big fried. Fried, fried, fried. Anyway. That was day one! And then I proceeded to go home and passed out. Passed out! Passed out. Next stage. Why am I chat lagging? Next stage. There's also a reason why I chose a ballad for my solo for stage one is because stage two. Um, the vibe of Honey Stage is very similar to what I normally do. So I, I didn't want two performances to be kind of like, similar. Honey Works! I wanted to show variety. Yappa ne, Honey Works no solo kyoku de sa. Fuda no boku no dance niteru no de, yappa li, eh, to fest stage one no solo. De chotto chigao fun de yare takata no. Yeah, that's why. Oh, but first let's talk about the let's talk let's talk about the <gasps> Cooper! Cooper! You have no idea. When I when I was also asked to do the MC for Holla Honey Stage and then it wrote your partner will be Gaugura. I like screamed. I screamed and then I messaged Goomba and I was like, MC, I emoji, I emoji, I emoji. <laughs> Two MC sections! I was so happy! Um, last year I was able I was I was able to perform with Goomba at the at the collab stage for fourth fest. And now we get to the MC for Honeyworks stage. She's crazy. I'm so happy I got to do it with her. It's actually really funny because you know, um, I would like to say that I think our our double wave was something. The the crowd wave was something new and that I don't think people have done before. And I would t like to say I thought of that pretty much right before the MC started the double wave. <laughs> Um, so what happened was, we were waiting backstage, and then we were watching... I think it was Nene... Nene and... and Luna... Tempais... Were they the MC? It was, was that the second MC? Was it Nene and Luna Senpai? I don't remember. But, anyway, cuz... Right, it was Nenichi and Luna, right? Okay, so what happened was, I was, you know, we were chilling backstage and then me and Guo were talking about, you know, what we should do for MC and we're like, oh, we should do a wave, yeah, we should each do a wave because, you know, unless, you know, as, as long as the MC before us doesn't do a wave, we can do a wave and then look, it's so ha it happened because, you know, Nenichi and Luna, who was the MC before our MC, they did a wave and then Goomba and I looked at each other and we were like, oh shit, what do we do? Oh no! <laughs> what do we do? 
And then and then Guma had to go because she had her solo right before our MC. And then I was sitting there like, what do we do? Anyway. What do we do? So right before Guma had to go for a solo, I was like, okay, listen here, Guma. We're gonna do the wave, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do the double wave. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my cue. I'll do the cue, and then we're gonna do double wave, okay? And then Goomba ran on stage like, okay, okay! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really, really glad that it worked out because, oh my god, it looked so cool! Wow, I didn't think it'd work out. As, 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 as well as it did. But the crashing wave was so cool. Especially with the color split as well. <gasps> the line was so clean. It was! But anyway. I'm just so glad. And I know Guma was really nervous for the MC. I think she did so well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Can you start with a tail wiggle? Because we both got tails. We shared a rare ball. Yeah, we did. We indeed did. We indeed, indeed did share a rare ball. Oh. <laughs> indeed. I spent... I actually hung out with Goomba quite a lot this time. And I'm so glad. <laughs> Actually, I spent a lot of time with a lot of EN members. Also, <laughs> I, said, I saw some comments. I think it was on Twitter. People were like, Oh my god, where is Bay? She hasn't mentioned Mumei this entire trip. Where is she? Guys. Guys. Mumei slept over. <laughs> Mumei was on my couch. <laughs> okay, calm down. The, the whole time? No, it was just one night. Yeah. Mumei slept on the couch. Don't worry. <laughs> Did she like it? She said it was comfy. Yeah. I've actually had quite a lot of members at the JP shed already. Inya came over. Yeah. She actually helped me set up Maverick that didn't need setting up. It's fine. Yeah. You made her sleep on the couch? I, t I asked her! I was like, do you want to sleep on the bed or do you want to sleep on the couch? And then I was like, I'll take the couch. Because it's closer to the bathroom. I was like, okay. And Callie helped with the bed? Yes, yes, yes. My god. The panic that bed cost me. But honestly, it's so comfy. I could sleep on that bed forever. <laughs> It was great. Yeah, I showed Mume around. And then I have... I am, I need to talk about... I, I need, like... I don't know if I should do it just chatting about my JP Shed. Probably when I get back, but... I'm in love with my JP Shed. I have a safe haven. I have... I have a ritual. I have a haven in my shed. And that is my bathroom. I love my shower X bathroom. It is my safe haven. I have a ritual. It is so nice. It's my safe space. So I was so excited for for Mumei to to try to try my bath. <laughs> Care to explain? It's just really nice. Like you know, the shower is really nice, and the bathtub is really nice. It's like big enough so I can stretch my legs as well. <sighs> 
And then, like, and then it talks to me because I press a button and it fills it and then it tells me that it's... It actually, it talks to me twice. It tells me that the bath is nearly done and then it tells me when the bath is done. <gasps> and then, and then, and then I, I go in and then I shower and then I sit in the bathtub. And then Mumei went to shower and then she also sit in the bathtub. And then she came out and I was like, how was it? And she was like, I feel like time has slowed down. It was so good. And then I have, and I bought, I bought like bathing, bath, bath products. I have a, I have sparkly, I have sparkly body soap. That makes you fall asleep easier because of the scent. And then your entire body sparkles. Because it has sparkles in it. <laughs> it's glitter butt soap! Oh my god. Please don't say that. glitter afterwards anyway i was so happy who else did i meet i met i met her and i met nessie i met nessie she was very cute now i met baba i did i met fuamoko yay yes yay yes i met id i met everyone They said you're the Monja fairy, yeah. I may have taken them to, to, to... I'm a regular at this Monja place now. It's so good. And then we have Monja together. It's my Monja place now. My Monja place. <laughs> Say the name and everyone will visit. I'm never doing that. After seeing what has happened with the with Akiba's Mr. Donut, I'm never saying the name of my Monja place. Because I'm afraid you guys are going to overrun it and then guess what happens next? Oh, I'm so sorry, Bay. Um, it seems like we're full today and tomorrow and the day after. So you're going to have to make a booking for next month. No! No! Not letting you overrun my Monja place. Not like this. <laughs> That's unfair. You gotta share with it. No! Never. We'll visit every Monja place we can find. Yeah, you can do that. My Monja place. My Monja place. <laughs> But anyway, um, it, it was really nice meeting them. They're all really sweet. Yeah. I gave Nessie a hug. I gave... Did I hug Fuamoko? I don't remember. It was so windy. I was trying to, I was trying to stand my ground to not blow away. It was so windy. God damn. What is Monja? Monja yaki! It's like Okonomiyaki without the flower. <laughs> it's the puke food. It's the puke food. It is the it is the puke food. It's so good. Boy, I met so many people. It felt so like nice having so many holomems in in one area together. It was crazy. Did you hug Iris? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
um, I have a funny story about about Iris. Um, I don't remember where we were going, but I think we were we were heading somewhere together, or like we were supposed to be meeting up at the same place for something. I don't remember what it was. So I was waiting, and and I remember Manitan came, and then like my Manitan came, and then we were heading. We, were, we headed off together, and then suddenly I hear just like I don't know why I turned around. It might have just been from her footsteps, like the sound, but I just turned around and I see Iris beelining it towards me, just like with her hand out, and I was like, "Huh?" Literally beelining it, running as fast as she could, and she's like, "Hello." And I was like, what, why, what, Wait, what, why did I turn around? Must have been from the noise. Oh my god, I th she didn't want to like call out to me, obviously. So I think she just ran as loud and as fast as she could. And I was like, <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Anyway, maybe I just recognized her footsteps. Isn't that a thing? If you listen to footsteps, like you, you, you get, you know, footsteps. I think I must have recognized her footsteps subconsciously and I was like, is that Iris? What's going on? What's, what's going on? <laughs> <clears throat> it was an ambush. I know. Yeah, hung out with Iris, hung out with Callie. I don't know, I feel very much Hollow JP. Been hanging out with a lot of members and I feel really loved and, and accepted. I feel like I have friends. <laughs> I feel like I'm friends. <laughs> <clears throat> did you meet any of the Regloss members? I did! I met... I met all of the Regloss members, actually. Yeah! They were in the studio one time. I think they were doing a collab, and then I went in and I said hi. Yay! Well, I've met Hajimiya. I met, I met, I've met Hajimiya a couple times. Um, we hang out often, like the others! Did Owl try to riz you? No. Not yet. I think it's because she was a bit overwhelmed. How is Owl? I kind of understand. I remember, I think Ina was the one who told me that like, Owl kind of reminded her of Crony. And then I was like, mm, I get it. I understand. Did Kanade jump at you? She did. She's so cute. Everyone is so cute. Everybody's so cute. Didn't... Didn't Owl give me some kind of... She gave me like a Disney... Coupon date thing? Like a date coupon for my birthday? I'm gonna use that as soon as I get back. To the Nihon. Time to cash it in. I'm going on a date. Anyway. I was having a date with Ina. I feel like I went on a lot of dates with Ina. I think I went... I feel like I went everywhere with Ina this time. <laughs> anyway! Sidetracked. This was... Uh, what was I talking about? Honey Works MC! Yeah. Goomba's so cute. Goomba so cute. Goomba cute. <laughs> <clears throat> Isn't Goomba in um Taipei? You know what's so funny? Wait, isn't her collab thing in Taipei? I was so stupid! Because I saw she had a collab with Sushi Ro. And then I may have gone around to like three Sushi Ro's in Japan. Trying to see where she was. Only to be told later, oh, it's not in Japan. I'm like, oh. 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 <laughs> Smooth brain. 
Smooth, smooth brain. <laughs> Big smooth brain. It's fine. It's so cute! Mean. Mean. Worldwide shark. E. That's insane. I aspire to be worldwide rat, like worldwide shark. This was peak peak bay dance the choreography was so fun i remember learning this i was like oh my god it's so perfect it's so perfect as a good contrast from stage one planned by yours truly by the way i was like of course i would do a ballad for stage one and then we end off with this in the honeywork stage teehee everyone Said that the lyrics didn't sound like a honey workstage. I did so many. I may have done so many firsts. First time interpretive choreography was a first for Fess. I also swore for the first time in Fess history. Isn't that crazy? I dropped the F bomb twice. <laughs> I made fest history. Isn't that crazy? And it was also in a Honeywork song. Isn't that insane? I I will say a lot of every, a lot of uh, feedback about the song was that it doesn't sound like a Honeywork song, which I think is really cool that they experimented outside, you know, their comfort zone. And I'm very honored. I'm very on it. It's like the only song in the album where they're like, what the heck? This is Honeyworks? Nani? Nani? I loved hearing the audience cheer along with their- I know! Everyone was screaming the- Hey! 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 So much fun. But, yes, I had a lot of fun practicing and learning this choreography as well. And also, I know this- The bit of the that I live and just- So much fun. Did you make this choreography? No. No, I did not. I learned it. It was very fun. Thank you. Can we input on the choreography? How long did it take you to learn it? Oh. I think this was also two hours. Um, I don't really have input on the choreography because I really liked it already. I think I asked to change the last pose a little bit. Um... Yeah! It was fun! Da, 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 da. I will say it's a lot different singing it live than obviously when you're recording for the song. I feel like there are certain types of songs that kind of sound better 
even though if it's not perfectly in tune or like on pitch it just the the the, the feel is a lot better when it's live and this is one such song if i do say so myself the energy is a bit different Was the stage? Is it a live my performances? <laughs> Do you like performances? Did you have a favorite song? That you performed or do you like them equally? I liked all of them equally. I think because they were all very different. I actually really liked the fact they were all very different. Because I wanted to make sure each stage was, you know, different and memorable in its own way. So you can't really compare the performances if I'm being honest. Just because they're so different. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, obviously, it's... You know, the level of energy is a little bit different. For like Utayo, the concentration was insane. That felt more like a it's that's like a performance. I think several several members messaged me afterwards and was like, oh my god, it felt like a musical or a theater based performance. And I was like, really? Great. Um, and then but obviously for like um the the group song was more like more like a ooh like a jazzy performance type song. And then Paka Paka Sebai was obviously more of a live you know the hype. Type live energy song. So it's all very different. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, makes me excited for for next year. If there is a fest next year, I wonder what what. I've already started planning. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding, but not really. <laughs> Always planning. It's only a year away. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> There's only 363 days left. <laughs> anyway. That was the first performances. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to. <laughs> One of the stories, though, I just felt so. I I don't know. I think maybe because you know this year, compared to like last year, I still felt uh, you know especially around like JP members, I still felt a little bit like distant. From the last year, so I remember rehearsal and stuff. It was, it wasn't, it was like I was just gonna sit in, in my own circle, in my own bubble, stuff like that. But this year, oh my god, during re like rehearsal and then also backstage when we were waiting, I just remember saying hi whenever someone came in, and then I was like, oh hello, and just the feeling of them knowing me or like recognizing me. That like, oh my god, Beth, so sassy buddy, and then we would hug and we would catch up. And then I remember during like when, when, when you know the tech was prepping and everything, uh, you know, a small group of us we were playing cards. <laughs> I felt like, oh my god, friendship, friendship. I taught the Bhutan Senpai and Kodane Senpai a lot. Yeah, yeah. Old mate, did someone tell that story already? <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It 
were telling a story. I was playing in a group. We were playing Old Maid. It was so funny. It's called Baba Nagi. Yeah. Call on him versus Martin Old Maid. <laughs> uh, so... I saw like a group of, of like members they were playing cards and I walked over and I started looking. And then they were still playing like the memory game at first. You know when you have all the decks of the deck of cards all like face down and you have to like try and remember which card is where and then they were playing like the memory matchup game. And then I was just watching and then it was really funny because like, you know, they, it, I, they, well, the way they were just playing was really, really funny. And then they were like, oh my god, babe, you want to play? And I'm like, yes. And then they're like, oh, what's a good game we can play with a lot of people? And then we were doing... Um, and then I think Mani Senpai was like, oh, we can play Baba Nuki. Well, someone re recommended Baba Nuki. And then they were explaining to me what Baba Nuki was. And then the way they made it sound like was... <laughs> I think a lot of them thought that it was like a J Japanese card game. And I was like, wait, isn't that just Old Maid? And they're like, eh? Wait, they have this game overseas? And I was like, yeah, I think it's just, it's just called something different. And then they all looked at each other and they're like, Oh my god, we were trying to explain this as if it was like a cool Japanese-only card game. <laughs> um, but then we played Old Maid, it was really funny. Because I, the first round, I was sitting next to Mani Senpai, so Mani Senpai had to choose one of my cards. And I remember I was looking at my hand and I immediately got the Joker. <laughs> And then I was trying to, I had my best poker face on. I was, I was, you know, showing her the cards. And then like, she, and then I, I was trying to bait Mani Senpai into picking the, the Joker. And then she ended up picking the Joker. And normally you're not supposed to make a reaction when you pick the Joker. But she picked it. The second she saw the card, she was like, ah! And she like flew backwards and everyone was like, What? You're not supposed to react, bro. You're, you're not supposed to react. It was so funny! She flew backwards! It was so funny because Kodanya Senpai was like sitting right next to her. And then Kodanya Senpai was like, Why do you react like that? You're not supposed to react! But then when Kodanya Senpai got the Joker, because she was sitting next to Mani Senpai, Kodanya Senpai went, yeah! <laughs> Oh, it was so funny. So funny. Hmm? Hello? My music has died. Wait. Hello? So loud. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, might be a gold XLR thing. Oh! Eri, Miko said Manny was pig ripe, gripping her cards when Kona tried to pull it. <laughs> yeah. I think my mixer just did an oopsies. Yeah! No, so the way that Manny Senpai would play is that she would like hold on to her card so that Kona Senpai couldn't pull out a card. But then when she could pull out a card, it was always the Joker, and then Kodo Nisem was like, Oh, no wonder I could pick out that card so easily. Man, it's just so, so much. It was so much fun just being able to hang out with the, the JP Senpais backstage. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Aqua Senpai since the arc? I have a story about Aqua Senpai. I'm gonna be completely honest. I saw Aqua Senpai scurrying backstage. <laughs> I was I was about to I was about to leave. This was like after the second stage and before the third stage. So like you know some new some members were coming in while others were shuffling out. Um, I saw Aqua Senpai like scurrying from like table to table, and I was like, she looks so familiar. Have I met her before? I feel like I. 
And then I um, and then I saw like I saw I think I saw Ollie go up and greet her. And then like she acted she was like really like shy and everything and then I looked at her, she looked at me, and then I was like, Hisashi Buri? And she's like, Hisashi Buri? And I was like, Hisashi Buri? Dayone! Right? And then I was like, wait, that's Aqua Senpai, isn't it? And then we talked a little bit, and then... Yeah! I, I felt... I felt like, oh my god... Because I did... I, I, I was like, whoa... And then we sat down, we chatted a little bit... And then we were like, oh, we should, we should hang out again... Yeah! She's so cute. Yeah! And then she gave me... She... <laughs> this is gonna sound so... <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad, but I was so... It was, she was so cute. Um, she was opening like a plastic... Like, packaging or something. And then she... I was sitting right next to her, so she opened up the plastic. And then she looked at it for a second, and then she gave it to me. And I was like... Okay. <laughs> and then I think... Who was sitting next to her? I think either Toa Sama was sitting next to her. Or like Fubiki Senpai was sitting close. And then she's like, Oh! She's giving her cool high trash! <laughs> and I was like, No! I will gladly accept. <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. And then I proceeded to put that plastic into my pocket. Yeah. As cool high, I will take trash. I will take anything. Do you still have it? I wonder, do I still have it? I don't know. <laughs> I will cherish this forever. Plastic from Kukutang. <laughs> My man. She's so cute. Some back the back backstage stories. <clears throat> backstage stories. So many backstage stories. Me. And now I'm back home in down under. And I'm sick a little bit. Ugh. A little bit sick. How does it feel to be How does it feel to be back in Australia? It feels icky. The weather here is so icky. It's like hot and it's sticky, even though it's March. Hello, it's supposed to be autumn. It's hot and humid and sticky, and it was raining. Blech. Blech. Oh. <sighs> 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 yeah. But I remember I like I my throat started hurting the second I showed up at the airport in Japan. I was like, oh my god, is my body rejecting me leaving? It very well could be. But I realized that I get sick every single time I return back to Australia. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Ugh. Weather shock, maybe? No, it's exhaustion. 100%. Because I woke up, my throat doesn't really hurt today as much. I mean, I couldn't really speak yesterday. I can speak today, and my throat doesn't really hurt when I speak. Um, I had a little bit of a cough last night, but that went away. Like, this morning. I'm fine. 
Um, yeah. There's definitely exhaustion. But I slept when I got home, and then I slept really early last night. Mmm. I just need rest. Peace. I just go rest. And then... I'm very busy for the next couple of weeks as well. Um, I do have some streams I need to do. Uh... But, no schedule. No schedule. <clears throat> but I really wanna... I wanna... I wanna do... Any Lies of P... Okay, I am I am considering continuing Lies of P when I get back to Japan because I want to test out Maverick. Because... Shout out to Hyde! Okay, here's the thing. Maverick, if you guys didn't know, um, my collab with Hyde, they were very, very kind enough to send me a PC. Now, here's the thing. Here is the thing. Um, they very graciously sent me a PC, but this was like two years ago when the collab was first announced. And I remember when they were, you know, they sent me, they were like, oh, like, you know, um, do you want like a 3070 or a 3080, like GPU, that kind of thing. This was two years ago, remember? And then I was like, oh, I'll get like the 30, 30, 3070 or 3080. So I was already thinking i was like dude that's pretty good like 30 70 30 80 is really really good and then so two years later <laughs> ina looks at my gpu and he is like oh my god they sent you a 4090 they sent me a shout out thank you so much so i am i'm so grateful i didn't i didn't expect them to to change it i was still so grateful for it so, i mean i'm still on a 2060 super which is already it's like giddy giddy but it works <laughs> but you know 3080 is still crazy but now i can do for the whole of the so i'm like it's time to test it on Liza P 4K. <laughs> I want to test it. I want to test it. Why did it take you two years? Here's the thing. Because we kept like change. I, I guess it was we we're figuring out how to ship it. But then it kind of changed. I was I mean, first I was like, oh, maybe we can send it to Australia. But then I was like, like a year later, I was like, oh, you know, I haven't still I haven't got it yet. So maybe we can change it. You know, since I'm going to Japan anyway, maybe we can just send it back to you know, send it back to Japan, stuff like that. And so I took a it took a while. Oh my god! So I wanna test it. I wanna test it. I wanna test it. I wanna test thank you. Hi. Thank you. Oh. Am I a 4K streamer now? Oh my god. We'll be continuing Yakuza's suit. Yeah, the next episode is probably going to be the finale for Kiwami 1. But I just don't know when I can stream that. I don't know if I have time. I have like th 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 three confirmed streams I can do in the next like two weeks. But I don't know. Everything else is kind of crazy. You need a better monitor. Do I? I have... I think the monitor I bought was the... T it's like... Uh? Uh? How many hertz? I think the one that I bought was... 140... 140... 144? Or 160? Maybe 144? I think it might be 144. What's the 
the resolution. It's the one one bigger than uh, 1920x1080. It's the 250... 2500 and... Eh? No! It goes up to 3... Eh? No, it goes up to 3000, but I just didn't change it. It goes up to the 3000 one. 3K streaming? Oh, is that 4K? 3840! It goes up to that, but it says recommended 2K, so I don't know what that means. Why is it recommended to only go 2K when it can go up to 4K? Does that mean I can... I can stream 4K just chatting stream? <laughs> can I... Can, can I do 4K just chatting stream? <laughs> 4K karaoke streams! Oh my god. 4K verting streams! Oh my god. Wait, is 2k the limit? Oh. Can your internet handle it? I hope so. I don't know. Anyway. internet do you have? Oh, it's really good internet. I think I need to buy a new ethernet cable because I just bought a really cheap one. Um, and because I just had to make do. So I actually don't know if it's the right ethernet cable. <laughs> I need to figure out what, what, inter like, you know, because there's like Cat5 and Cat6. I don't know. I don't know what to get. Need cat six okay cat six cable boogie I shall get the correct cable Yes Is Maverick using your case too? Yeah Maverick is using my case it's number one It's number one if you have a baby PC case I have number one It's so cool I have number one. <laughs> Will you share pictures of it? I wish I could. There's a lot of glass. So I'm afraid it's a little bit difficult to take photos. <laughs> mm. Thank you so much for all the super chats and the support. I'm going to do a super chat reading stream. Someday. <laughs> One day. Thank you so much. Did you bring your new keyboard to Japan? I did, and I was already using it. It's so amazing. Thank you! Thank you! You lost your wallet when you were in Japan? <gasps> I hope you. F I hope everything's okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you for everything. Wait, should I read the super chat? Or oh, maybe I can read the super chats for this stream. 
Because I still have the birthday back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> What with the sudden Akka wave? Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Because everyone loves the red. Aww! Thank you! Why's my chat lagging? It'd be lagging. Lagging big. Thank you! Thank you! For joining rat membership. Rat god bound of the gods. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Suddenly had a cramp. I'm sorry. My body breaking down. <laughs> My body to be breaking down. It is what it is. Oh my. Oh, Grumble Dog. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, no Kenji. Thank you. Goldman. Thank you. Numbers, thank you so much! <laughs> Tibble, thank you so much for the pink super jet boom boom. I don't think I took a single breath during that solo performance. I was in total awe the whole time, speechless. That's actually something I realized too. I noticed, like, as I was dancing, I noticed that there was like little to no movement in the crowd. <laughs> Did I confuse everyone? They were all staring. There was little to no pen light movement. Nanga, solo no tu, toju de sa. Eto, nanti no? Pen light to jindu go it nakata mone. Kona sta? ひいた、風邪ひいてない。疲れや、疲れ。す、すげえってなってた。え、そうなの?ひひひ。感動?よかった。
Um. Say thank you so much for the pig so much out, boom boom. Once again, my limited vocabulary prevents me from describing just how great you did. Just more reason to remind you to never let yourself think otherwise. You're an amazing person and performer. Keep pushing what you can do works for you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, Jim Tracy, thank you so much for the Aka Super Bum Bum Bum. You're amazing this weekend, babe. Thank you. A fun group song, beautiful singing, and incredible dancing on your solo song. And you just owned the stage in the Honeywork stage. You were so awesome to see your true idol rat power. Super proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Best dancer in Holla. Who said that? Who said that? Eh? Tua? Eh? Uso? Maji de? Is it clip? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Plus fell down. Wait, let me replay that. Oh my god, my day is made. <laughs> Thank you! Koyori praised you in her post talk too, babe. Legit tears. Aww, thank you. 
Nixu song! Thank you. I've been supporting Kami Boina since I saw your dance last year. I was moved by the wonderful dancing this year as well. It was the first time in my life that I was moved by watching your dance. I hope your father approves too. Rat fam hasn't seen Fest yet. I told them Fest was happening, but I haven't shown them yet. So, we'll see. I was gonna show them when the archive comes back. <laughs> Will be a first watch along. I want to do a watch along with Mume. There's gonna be four streams. You can do like one on her channel, then one on my channel, then one on her channel, then one on my channel. We can do stage one and Hollow Honey on my channel, and then stage two and three on her channel. That could be cool. I heard stage 3 was crazy. I want to watch all of them. Pokoru-san! Thank you so much for the Aka Super and the Pink Super! Was that, was that loud enough? That's the ogoe to kite the moon. It says loud voice. <laughs> PS. Lenzoke de Moshiwakinai. Zen Zen. これはベータに伝えたい。今回フェイス初めてでわからないこと、たくさんあったけど、チャットの先輩、ブラートのみんなさんにいろいろ教えてもらって、声かけてくれて、本当に助けられました。Apparently this was their first fest and a lot of brats helped them with things that they didn't know. Oh my goodness. 優しい人ばっかり。X で見たけど、現地で Brat,みんなが集まった写真とかあってみんな楽しそうだった。そうだよね。Talking about the photo, the after Brat's photo. Brat'swa'いい人たちばっかりだよ。本当だよ。Then they're saying everyone, all the Brat's are such nice people. これもベイちゃんがバーツのことを大切にしてくれておかげだと思う。えぇ。ベイちゃん、先輩方、ありがとうございました。3月19日は、また仕事で見れないけど。あ、大丈夫。アーカイブ見ればいい。大丈夫。あ。Thank you. ありがとうございます。楽しんでよかったもん。<笑> 
I'm so glad everyone. I love. I was looking at the picture, like the after the uh the the, the brats photo. Everyone was smiling and the theme. Seems like you guys had such a good time. And then I'm cold. Aircon off. I was just like, oh my god, everyone was having such a good time. I'm so glad. It made me smile. You shouted you dumb my soul. God damn it. Is that fall? That's gonna... That's... Oh god. That's gonna follow me until the end of time, isn't it? To don my soul. <laughs> Is that my legacy? <laughs> I can't believe... I saw... I saw the retweet when I woke up. I cannot believe Hololive English official channel Jadonned me. I got jadonned. Can't believe it. Willie, thank you. Aww, I simply had to tell you how deeply I admired your performance. Oh, ho, ho. you might just have become my Oshi. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you like it. Thank you. Ah, uh, the car, thank you. Can't watch live, but just want to say you did so great out there. Your bravery in trying something new was rewarded. I hope so. The dance was beautiful, and you also left everyone with a very memeable jidong. Jidong! I like how Kosaki Biju instantly respond. I know. I don't... What? It was so perfect as well. Kosaki Biju? My goodness. Uh, Sunny G, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Tiff Dunn and thank you! Congrats on 5th Fest. Hey, Gail's song Encore was so beautiful and you lit up that stage with Paka Paka Samai. What an absolutely amazing show! Well done, best idol rat to Don Muscle. Thank you. Man, I just... <gasps> I really... Uh, it's just every single time I perform in 3D, it's just like another... It just makes me realize just like, this is my, this is what I want, this is my dream. You know, I just, oh, that's all I want to do. I just want to perform for you guys. I just want to practice and, and, and train and practice and then put on a really good show for, for people. To distract them even for an hour or two about the troubles in their lives and just have everyone have a good time. <gasps> Ah, that's all I want to do! Man. I love Hollow Life. You want to have your own full concert? That is the big dream. Hollow Life! That is the big dream. The big dream. Big dream. Oh. We must fill the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Solo Life World Tour. That'd be crazy. Here's something. I'm trying to pitch something to the to the company right now. Instead of having, I want, can't, can we have a, I want like a, I want to do like a, a solo live world tour. But, you know, I just, maybe we can do like several shows, but make them smaller. That's my dream. I want to do a show in, in Australia, in Japan, in Korea, in America. But I want to keep them small because... Then they don't hit me with the, can you sell out the venue? Can, can you do it? Yes! If it's like 50 people. <laughs> <laughs> so we can sell out like four shows of 50 people. How about that? <laughs> It'll be like a garage! I can do garage shows! <laughs> I 
That will be a civil war trying to get tickets. <laughs> I don't know. I... I don't know. I don't know. I need to... I mean, I have enough songs, right? I just came out with, with, with an album. Right? Oh my god, speaking about the album, did you know I came out with my very first album, Zodiac, that is currently still for sale if you want the physical copy? Streaming link is also down in the, down in the description below. If you're interested, please do get it. I worked really hard on it. Stream Zodiac, everyone. What was I talking about? <laughs> Manifesting a world tour. That'd be so cool! Of oh, 50 people. <laughs> There'll be 50 people in like four different locations though. So 200 people in total. <laughs> but I wonder because you know didn't didn't we talked about this before, but don't like world tours technically, don't they like isn't it like a different set list every time? Or like sense to switch it up if it's getting streamed because if we do like a world so i'm guessing part of each show is going to be streamed so if it's always the same song like you guys you know i feel like it'd be it'd be a little bit repetitive you know maybe i could do like a release so there'll be some staple songs so i released the set list beforehand so it's like the first opening song is the same, and then it's like question mark, question mark, and then we have like middle song that's the same, it's like question mark, question mark. Stuff like that, that could be cool. You know? Why am I planning for a solo live that <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't even happening? <laughs> stop! My brain needs to stop. Okay, next. We must manifest it. Manifest. Oof. Uh, cop, thank you so much. Again, thank you, thank you. Uh, Tip Tender Talker, thank you! Where am I up to? GDC Wuna, thank you! For the 2000 brass that showed up at the end of the free chat, thanks for coming. <laughs> thank you. Kenrin, thank you! Buffy Berber, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom boom! Uh, Fez Otsu! I'm so 
happy I could witness you going off live in Japan. Both of your performances take the crowd's heart. Big respect. Seeing you cheering. Thank you on with the crowd has been such an experience. Love you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Ugh. Armor Blazer, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Let's cut it on another explosive best weekend. Your stage one routine had me speechless. If it weren't for Chloe's mood whiplash medley right after, I wouldn't have recovered as quickly. The most unique performance I've seen at Holofest. <gasps> Thank you. And Paka Paka Sebai. B had me waving my pen lights and dancing in front of my PC half across the planet. Your powerful vocals and sharp moves lit up Makuhari in a way only Chaos herself can achieve. Thank you. Thank you. Were you able to watch the other performances during stage one? I did a little. I did a little. <laughs> um, Dix, Didima, thank you. The the Hakko Bell's birthday celebration merch ends on April first in two weeks. Get your merch now while you still can. Also, stream Zodiac. I'm so glad you brought that up. Did you guys know I have birthday merch that is still currently available for purchase? And indeed, the sale does end on the 1st of April. If you buy the full set, it includes your very own Ducky Makura cover, your fridge magnets, and a phone strap, along with a very special birthday message from yours truly. And did you guys know, oh my goodness, she is, she is signing every single postcard by hand, delivered straight to your door, if you get the full set. You only have a couple more days, a week, two more weeks to get it. Everybody gets a signed postcard if you get the full set. It is not limited. I still don't know how many I need to sign. I've not been given the numbers yet. But please, I dare you to break my wrist. I dare you. Come on, get your free merch. I mean, what? Get your get your signed merch. What did I say? Free merch. Get your get your signed merch. My brain's not working. I double dog dare you. Nanto, boku no tanjobi kutsu. Ne. あと2週間ぐらい買えますのでぜひフルセット買ってください。なんとポスカードもしフルセット買ってくれた方にあのポスカードはね全部僕がサインするので。My brain's not working. Get your merch, get your merch. サイン好きだってねサイン好きプールセットにサイン好きだよプールセット買ったありがとう<笑> みんな買おうねね <laughs> if I buy two, do I get two cards? You indeed do. I think you do. It comes with every full set. So if you buy like five sets, you get five signed postcards. What a deal. Have you decided what you're gonna sign on the card? It's just gonna be my signature because 
I feel like I have more to sign this year than previous years. So I'm just gonna keep it simple and fair and equal for everyone. It'll just be signature, but it'll be very beautiful and it'll be hand-signed for everyone. Mm. Just the feeling. Yeah, it's just the feeling. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. My voice, thank you so much. Karen, thank you again. Give Dr. Shoko, thank you so much for the memory you give. Uh, Incho, thank you! My pleasure, thank you again. Jizutaro, Akasupa, Ayata so much. Thank you. Sino, Masho, Ayata so much. Blum, 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 blum. Ayata so much, Kari, Ayata so much. Akasupa, blum, blum, blum. おくれましたか、ホラーラブフェスフェスでハリーワークスからさまでした。全日で披露してくれたメイドの歌いを曲が振り付け、少しのミスでもメダチそうなのに最後まで綺麗にえ、何よく踊り切ってすごかったとハリ
Bravo, but you never cease to amaze. Thank you for your wonderful performances on the weekend. You've been too kind to us, Brax. We've been fed well in the past month. Back to work, love you, bye! Thank you! Jeez. I need to get another drink. I have my tea. My disgusting tea. I need to microwave it. Hold on. PRP! Hold on! Oh, did you hear that? Oopsie. Out of the darkness, thank you so much for the rainbow! JF is almost such an endearing choice. It's a welcome surprise. Your performance not only mesmerizing, but it filled our hearts with joy and wonder. You're truly a beautiful butterfly on stage. Thank you, a butterfly. Your Paco Paco Sebae was blazing those movements. From the bottom of my heart, you're an inspiration, but you're not afraid to challenge new things. You take it and ace it like nothing. That's what I'm proud of. That's what I'm proud and love about you, my dorky rat eyed. May you reach your star in your journey onwards, babe. With the spirit of the rat, clever and wise, you dazzled us all, dazzled us all to your utter surprise. Every dorky dance move, every heartfelt note filled the room with joy. In every single quote. Whoa! Your performance was a masterpiece beyond compare. A testament to your passion, your flair. With every step you took, with every word you spoke, you captured our hearts, leaving us in one. Thank you again for amazing first bait. I hope you feel better. Love you. Thank you! I love my nose. My tea is done! Allergies. Oh my goodness. Coughing show come on, Kore. Wow. Hold it. Yes. the change to the Aussie weather. It might be. And then it's also like really sticky and it's like rainy. It's better. Oh, for the super chat, bum bum, thank you. Please take care with exhaustion. 
I had it at the start of the year to the point I started going blind. Oh my goodness. I hope you're okay. Krusty, thank you so much. To dawn my soul is a funny meme, but your constant hard work and passion have been shining through for a long time. So happy you got to show the results of your efforts to the whole world. Going to fest in person was so worth it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, Pokore sa! Thank you so much for the pink super chat. Arigato zamashita, boom boom. Nigatsu, are dake kambate, sonato sugu fesu ga ate, owate chotto, kiga nuketara, nuketa boom, tamato tskare, ga ikini, kitanda no, tabun sore, tabun sore, gambaria sa, no becha na kara, nanka, karada, ni imo no tapete, yasun ne ne, ksurito, あの、で、その後すぐフェスの練習の準備もあってさ。で、その後一気にね、あの、彼が止まってさ。うん、今この状態になってた。うん。うん。Trinity, <笑> um, thank you. Ah, uh, Wisecom, thank you. Uh, hi, Jeff, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Uh, hi, Bay, your performance on stage was really outstanding. Whether it was your amazing dance or your beautiful voice, it was very unforgettable. I was even moved to tears during your stage one performance. You did a great job, Bay. Thank you. Kosegi Biji messaged me after the performance. He was like, You can't do this to me! <laughs> Thank you, cause it can be you. I haven't did a watch along, right? Ugh. Did she cry? Aww. How cute! How cute! Oh my god! It was a rainbow! Hi, Jeff! Buh, buh, buh. Thank you so much! It's time for me to take my flight. Hope I can see you next year again. I was photographed holding your doll before the stage one opening. Ooh! Love you, babe. You done my soul. Thank you so much! Shadow, thank you so much! Travis, thank you so much! JR time, thank you so much! Um... Tomonori-san, aizetemashita! Thank you! Tanoshin ni nani yori yokatta! Titi one, thank you. Dance did indeed get memed on, but honestly, your performance was breathtaking. It was my favorite performance to date. I remember asking for a ballad, and honestly, you gave me much more than I asked for. I didn't realize how memeable it was until afterwards. And honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine with it being memed on. Because I'm gonna be. I didn't expect. <laughs> I, was, I was just looking at the screenshots of the performance. I didn't expect the cameraman to go as as crazy as it did. Honestly, good job, cameraman. Thank you. Memeable is memorable. <laughs> Have you seen the post in the Jadon hashtag yet? No, I haven't. I'm kind of scared. Much for the 
Kasuppe boom boom boom. Congrats on an excellent performance. I think it's impressive how everyone pushes their limits, but you pushed the whole envelope and did something truly unique. Resulting in one of the standout performances of all, sto all four stages, in my honest opinion. <gasps> Thank you. I'm glad you... Oh, means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> it's always really scary to do something different. And I don't know if you noticed, but like this year I was actually very... I was more nervous because, again, it's something I've never done before. So there was a 50-50 chance I was going to flop. Well, you know, everyone has a different understanding of flop. But like, you know, it's always nerve-wracking to do something that you've never done before. Like, I, I would say that I'm very... I'm always nervous before a 3D performance, but I was evidently less nervous on the second day. Because I have more confidence in dancing to songs and performing songs like Paka Paka Sebae. You know, it's something that I've, I've trained before and, you know, I I have more confidence that, you know, tech, tech technicality-wise, I have it down. You know? But, when you try something new, it's always very scary. But I'm just glad, you know, people enjoyed it still. Mmm! Are you happy with the result? Um, yes and no. Uh, I don't think I'm ever fully satisfied with any performance, which is a good thing because that's what drives me to practice harder and, you know, hone skills for the next performance. Um, I'm glad I did something different. I'm, I'm glad that I took the challenge and did something different. Um, but obviously there are parts of the performance where I know that I screwed up a little bit. I made mistakes here and there, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, Fructus Concept. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mooney, thank you so much for the pink zippy tip. Boom, boom. It was beautiful and expressive. <laughs> My favorite moment when you did the two big steps and then fell to your knees. Simple, but really powerful. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever think you'll attempt to do another interpretive dance in the future? I do, but I also want to try... Like, I think for me, I think I've made a tradition now that I will always choreograph my own solo for first, at least. I think that's something that, you know, makes... That's a very special experience for me. Um, so I always want to choreograph the dances myself for Fess when it comes to my solo performance. So I don't know if I would do another ballad. Well, you know, if next year's Fest happens, I don't think I'd do a ballad for next year. Because I want to switch it up every single year, right? Um, but I'm always... I, I would be very open to maybe learn a dance that's choreographed for me. And if that is interpretive dance... You know, I would be open to that, definitely. Yeah! <laughs> What's the new challenge for next year? I don't know, we'll see. Got plenty of time to think and practice. I already have ideas, but I don't know. We'll see. Automaton performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Also says she feels like her goals get high every year. This is fucking so low. My God. Out of the ones that I was able to watch, oh my God. I cannot. I can't. I I can't with this. I honestly cannot. 
I remember, I think both Gura and I were backstage and we were watching that and we just kept looking at each other, looking at each other. I had goosebumps. Ah, you're in the Nisu. You are too powerful. I don't know. She's not, she's not, she's not real. She's not, she can't be real. It's just so, it's freaking, I, I can't. I have no words. I have no words. Goosebumps the entire way through. That last note, oh my god. Too cracked. No words. It's not fair. <laughs> oh. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I got to dance. I got to perform with that squirrel. Not once, but twice. Teehee. Teehee, teehee. Um. <clears throat> Miran, thank you so much. Uh, all better, thank you. Pila, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. You also, you are showing something that I didn't expect. Never imagined to see this kind of performance and I was so touched. Thank you, Bay, for showing your dream to us. It's the, it was the best capture the moment of my first Hollow Fest. You are the best idol. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Charlton, thank you. Trinitru, thank you. Mdeji, arigatouzaimashita. Stage to Genji de mitanda. Eh, arigatou. べいちゃんのがステージに出た瞬間涙がもう収まらない。収まらず叫び声と一緒に体から爆発した。べいちゃんのパフォーマンス見た時美しいという言葉が頭ので何気何気でも感動しすぎたあんまり口から出て出てくえもう頭が壊れたごめんただペンライトを高く上げこのこの感情がベイちゃんに伝えるようにお願いしました自分の歌をさ歌うさそしてこの歌よ感動を彼に伝えるように努力します。そしていつかこの感動を君の元にわあ。ありがとう。歌うものかな。あ、そっか。歌うもの。ね。ありがとうございます。Thank you. I'm a little late, but your stage one performance ruled. I stand around the can dance. I wish I could be closer to witness it, but it was awesome. How captured the audience around me was. Keep it up, babe. Hee <laughs> hee! Thank you! Alfesto, thank you so much for the Aka Super! Boom boom boom! Your solo performances were incredible and stood out so much in different ways. <gasps> Folks, get you an Oshi who can do both. Get you an Oshi that can do both. Am I that Oshi that can... Can I do both? I do both. Yatta. Um. Uh, thank you again. Blazing you, thank you. Hikami-san, I desamas. Maya-kun, I desamas. Ooh! 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 
my first time attending a Hollow Live event and my first time seeing you on stage. Your performance is beautiful and outstanding. Thank you for creating a new meme post. The dub myself forever. Thank you! Meme is all under the zombies. What's the matter, somebody? Oh, sky, somebody! Yakuza! Pink is all but under the zombies. The boom boom. Bitch, I'm sorry, somebody. ステージは中心に世界を広がるんだね。次のリアルライブも楽しみだ。ステージ2で彼らが出たマジでマジでやば。Sounds like a filter. Bruh. Do you have nasal spray? I hate nasal spray. I keep hearing that Kyla did you don my soul as her introduction. God damn it. GP Platz got fueta ni chigai nai. Eh, so da no! Nihon niki fueta! Nihon niki fueta no! やほ。やほやほ。うわ。いる。いる。いるよ。会話でJPパーツいっぱい行ったよ。え、そうなの。わお。お疲れ様です。ありがとうございます。わお。Welcome to the Rat Pack, Edwin. Boom boom. Ooh ha. Wow. Uresi. Uresi ya. Hangogun. Hangogin. Hango. Hangogin do isso yo. Hangok saman do isso. ピーちゃん大好き。愛と。パン食べてた。偉い。偉いね、君。Why is the chat so slow today? Is it just me? なんかちょっとめっちゃ遅いんだけどね、今日。なんで壊れてる。おいおいおいおい、生きてますか? Slow like lag. Yeah, it's, it's like lagging. Not slow as in like the messages are slow, but the actual like when it pops up, it's like lagging. I don't know. Don't forget you're in Australia. Is it my problem? Bruh. Bruh, bruh. I hope this is the new beginning and not the end. Honestly, it's always scary to hear the word last from Oshi. It made me so happy to hear so many audience and whole life members uh, praising Base Dance. Thank you. <laughs> when I saw the title catch the moment, the phrase moments are fleeting, but memories last forever came to mind. Thank you for creating such wonderful memories. And I look forward to many more unexperienced moments with you in the future. <gasps> so good. Manasaya. Oh. 사랑해요. 감사합니다. 수고했어요! 네! Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god! Welcome to the round pack, yo yo, for the fourth time. <laughs> Welcome to Red God! Clone? Are it? Welcome, welcome! <laughs> Bow down to the to the god. Thank you. Tionesa! Pixel I designed the boom moon Tionesa Ayeto. Eh, Tionesa no Sashimita yo! X de かわいかったよ。ええ。メイちゃん、ピースベースのエクスを疲れ様。ライブ最高でした。今まで海外の人と話す機会がなかったんだけど、ベイちゃんのおかげで現地でたくさんの人とお話しするいい機会になったよ。ベイちゃんのことが大好きな人たちとベイちゃんのお話しするの楽しかったです。え、素敵なきっかけになってくれてありがとう。ベイちゃんに少しでもありがとうの気持ちをと大好きな気持ちを伝えたいからこれからもた
It was my first time attending Hollow Fest and I'm glad I did. Your interpretive dance and ethereal voice was so moving it broke me halfway through the performance. And I found myself randomly crying for the next three days! <gasps> I'm sorry! Your efforts and talent shone through the- Thank you! For a small rat, you owned the biggest stage in Hollow Life for the Honeyworks performance. It was amazing to see you dance in person. It was the reason why you became my Kami Oshi. Thank you. Thank you. Watching you dance in person has been my dream come true. Thank you, Bae, for being the best idol rat. My soul has been jadonned. The fest has been the best time of my life and I'll cherish the moments dearly. Elisa, my thank you. My rainbow is bored. <laughs> no, it's perfect! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can I tell you something? I felt so empty after fest. Completely my own fault. But I felt so empty. Can I tell you? I... Because I was so busy, I didn't really... Here's the thing. I did fest day one. It's completely unrelated to fest why I felt so empty. It was completely my own fault. Don't worry about it. But I need to tell you, I actually did cry as well out of emptiness. But it wasn't because of the fest. Just listen to me, okay? So I had the first day and then I passed out. And then I had the second day and then I passed out. And then on, on the day after, I was like scrambling to get ready i was packing and everything but i didn't do it in silence i may have sp speed watched the glory this is completely side like you know unrelated but i speed watched the glory and i felt the emptiness of the world and then i started crying <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's completely unrelated. It was 110% my fault. Don't worry about it. But like, I feel like the concert, the post-concert blues put me into a sad, into like a sad, sad, sad state of mind. And I was like, mm, how do I, I feel so sad right now. What's, what's great to, what, what's going to be good to elevate this sad emotion? The glory. Anyway. And it made me sadder. Yeah. <laughs> What's the glory about? It's very sad. It's very dark. Man. It's, it's about... It's like a revenge. It's like a revenge K-drama. Of this 35-year-old girl who's taking revenge on her high school bullies. What made it sadder was that the bullying case was based on a real story. It was very sad. Everything was just very sad. I couldn't watch the bullying scenes because they were too intense. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> but the I suppose. <laughs> it's just very sad. Man. Anyway. Back to happy. Where am I? Um. B faction, thank you. Big, big, happy, happy. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Um, Renee, thank you so much for the Aka Super. Boom, boom, boom. Your solo performance was very beautiful. It caught me off guard to a degree that I shed a tear. That's my vibe. I'm certain that you're a new person to me. I would have had the same reaction. I want to see it again. You really know how to make things good. Take care. Thank you. Be happy. Oh, and then I watched half of Bug's Life last night. Because Chippy Rat was over. And then I nearly fell asleep. Because I was so tired. So, 
I think we, we have to watch the second half of Bug's Life tonight. I don't know. <laughs> From the glory to a Bug's Life, bruh. The whiplash couldn't be more insane. Did Chibi Rat miss you? Chibi Rat didn't let me do anything else but sit beside them whole night yesterday. Literally. I would go up, I would like get up to go to the kitchen or I get up to go to the bathroom and then Chibi Rat would be like, Where are you going? <laughs> Very cute. It was so cute. And then... I also met new chibi rat. <sighs> new chibi rat is so small. It was so funny because I remember mama rat was holding new chibi rat. And then I was like, oh, do you want me to hold new chibi rat? Because I think she had to go do something. And then before mama rat could answer, chibi rat answered for her and was like, no. <laughs> Somebody's jealous! Uh, Kai, thank you so much. Zero, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Your performances in Hollow Life Fifth Fest were amazing. I love the Honeywork stage. Hope to see more Idol Rat. Thank you. Diego, thank you. Te amo ite des... I'm so sorry. Salt and bread, thank you so much for the Akasopa and the pizza. Just got back to New York, but still feeling the effects of your performance. Being able to be there live with others is truly an unforgettable experience. The entire stage was mesmerized during your solo, and the next day we were all grooving along. Love this idol rat. The amount of people rooting for you during the concerts and the amount of brats that showed up in the group photo really made me emotional. It made me emotional too, seeing how many of you traveled to see. Thank you. Being able to meet up with the fellow brats and make new friends was so much fun. Thank you for bringing us together. <sighs> Thank you. I hope everyone had fun. Substitute, thank you so much. I was so touched after you end for baby with a bang. I can't express how much happiness you gave me during those few days alone. <gasps> and then you dropped the most memorable performance of the entire fifth. Oh, thank you. I don't know what held me from joining Rat Pack to witness the perfect idol. You have gained one more follower for life, my Kami Oshi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oi, oi. Oh, thank you. Yummy, thank you. Sonichi, thank you so much for the Akazuba boom boom boom. Chemisasoya, Krom, Tame to. Tame to. Thank you. Uh, Travis, thank you so much. Zero Nia, thank you. Uh, Ikura san, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom boom. Aitozamasu. ベースフェスエスポお疲れ様。ステージ1とホロン。ハニー会場、会場じゃない会場か。会場で見ることができてとっても幸せだったよ。ありがとう。え、最高のパフォーマンスで感動したし、MC は可愛いし、とにかく推
ここ心ここ心じゃないの<笑>ここ心じゃないの<笑>心からか。えー。心か。なるほどね。Thank you about birthday merch now.、Oh, thank you so much! Well, anyone else is interested, birthday merch is still available. Let down in the description below. Get it before time runs out. Full set with a guaranteed signature. Your loss if you don't get it. Thank you very much. Tune in to thank you. Kayama, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom, boom. Thanks for the hard work for the fest. I'm so happy to see your performance in Japan. Thank you for bringing us such a wonderful performance. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. z r a p i thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom! Otskare sama desu, Beitan! Everyone in the crowd was mesmerized. We didn't know how to do shit with the pen lights at the time. But I assure you, it was just because it was just an ethereal moment. Wish you the best and hoping for your first solo live one day. Were you stunned? I hope you were stunned. Thank you. Hedgy, thank you so much. Babe, my rainbow broke because the bank called. I guess it's just rice and soy sauce for the next few days. <gasps> no! Super chat responsibly, please. Super chat responsibly! Thank you, though. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom, boom. I didn't know what to expect for stage one given what you were saying before, Fez, but I was blown away. It was a beautiful performance, and I think it'd be one of the performances people will always think of when they remember Fifth Fest. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. Oh my, thank you. That was the best whole life concert I've ever seen. Aww. I can't wait to witness more from you, Bay. You were born to dance and be on that stage. <gasps> Thank you. Tamana k i s h i s a n a k a s u a t o z a m a s h t a Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Onion warrior. Thank you. Eh, f u t s k a k a n o k o n a t e f u t s k a m e b e t a n o p a k a k i t e i t a y o Eh, s o n a n o f u t s k a m e n o h o n e y w o r k s n o b e t a n g a u t a o t o k i s e k i g a すごく近かったのかっこよかったありがとう幸せだったえ女の子でベイちゃんのパーカー着て席が近いなんてこれは私が大声出さなきゃって勝手に張り切ってキャーキャーベイちゃんの名前はたくさん読ん,読んじゃったえ背中が広くてペンライト背が低い背,背中じゃなくて背が低い低くてペンライトで手がえ上がらなくなってたけど誰よりも手が上,が上げたかったようわー壊れてる僕の脳が壊れてるありがとう可愛くてかっこいい歌もダンスもできるべーちゃんが大好きべーちゃん存在してくれてありがとうこの面でいいてくれてありがとうべーちゃん最高ありがとうべーちゃんの目の前だったえーそうなのよかったいや本当にねパフォーマンス中でパフォーマンス中でさ僕の頭頭がねもうぼーっとしてて何にも見えなくて何にも考えなかったわただ歌とダンス夢中ありがとうありがとうありがとうぽっこりさんありがとうございます<笑>いや大丈夫大丈夫<笑>女の子バーツいっぱいいたよえー、女の子うれしい<笑> KJ さんありがとうありがとうございますかっこいいコンテンポラリーダンスに惚れてたら
歌い始め,始めた時選んだ曲が分かって瞬間泣いちゃったありがとうベートに出会えてよかった僕も出会えてよかったよありがとう Travis thank you again Hey baby my daughter's birthday is coming up soon her name is Iris named after the Pokemon character could you possibly wish her a happy birthday Know two irises around here, and you're the better one. Happy birthday! <laughs> Once again, thank you so much. Brave Laser, thank you. Nitsuki, thank you so much. Last year, I watched Bay performing Kami Point on stage and was deeply attracted since that moment. This year, I was deeply touched again, couldn't stop crying. Thank you. Aww. Even though it hasn't been half a year since becoming Bratz, I'm very proud to be one in this group. Hope I can fly to Fess and cheer for you someday. <gasps> thank you. Time and thank you. Irresponsible super chat for my Kami Oshi. No! Super chat responsibly. Thank you very much. Little Orange, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Thank you. Finally back to Canada, and I'm glad to join the Expo and Fest in Japan this time. Seeing my Oshi Rap performing so powerful and passionate on the Honeywork stage is really unforgettable experience. Thank you for the hard work, and can't wait to see more Idol Rap in the future. Big love! Thank you. Big love! Thank you. Oh! Thank you so much, everyone. I think that's it for today. It should be it for today. <gasps> thank you so much. Big thank you. I really appreciate everything. All oh, the super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Another successful fest. Thank you very much. Oh yeah? I'm gonna go rest up. Um, when is the next stream? What a wonderful question. Um, it might be... Uh... On the... Eh? 24? Oh, in a couple days, I need to figure out a lot of things. There might be a spontaneous stream. I'll always set up the stream the night before, but I don't know. There might be... There's definitely a stream on the 24th or the 25th. I, I don't really remember, but... One of those days! Yes. Mumei's waiting for you to end stream before she talks about... <laughs> Should we write it to Mumei? I want to see what she says. Mumei! Mumei! Okay. But that's the next time. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure you check out my merch. The birthday merch is still currently on sale. Also, make sure to stream Zodiac. I will literally plug these until the end of time. Thank you very much. Wait, I don't have the ending! Uh-oh. It's fine. No Zodiac ending today, but it is what it is. Thank you so much. For all the support again, I'm gonna go rest up so I can continue being your idol rat and get back to streaming as, as quick as I can. But I gotta, I gotta do some, I gotta do some, I gotta, gotta fix some stuff. But anyway, thank you very much. Oy. Thank you so much for all the support as always. I really appreciate it. Now let's go see what Mumu has to say. Okay, bye.